Hi, welcome back to pattern program series in Python. In this video, I will discuss how to display or print this particular pattern in Python program. This is the fifth pattern program. The link for other pattern programs is given in the description below. Before we draw any pattern program, first we need to understand the logic uh, to draw that particular pattern. So first I will represent this pattern in the form of uh, rows and columns. There are five rows are there and uh, five columns are there in this case. We need to identify the relationship between i and j so that we can come up with this uh, particular pattern. Now uh, to represent uh, these uh, particular rows, I will take one for loop and uh, to represent this particular columns, I will take one more for loop. Uh, i will be the uh, looping variable for the outer loop and j will be the looping variable for inner loop in this case. Now uh, the possible values for i is uh, 1 to 5. So there is no change. So we will go from i is equal to 1 to 5. So that is uh, the first thing we need to understand. Now for each uh, possible value of i, the j will go from 1 to 5. But sometimes we will print star here and sometimes we will print space and star here. So that we need to discuss later. So the values of uh, j are 1 to 5. Now the next question comes in front of us when to print star and when I suppose to print uh, space here. So that is the question. So if you consider i is equal to 1, when the value of i is equal to 1, the possible values of j is, uh, you can say that 1 to 5. All the values are possible, that is 1 to 5, we need to print star here. But uh, when it comes to 2, when the value of i is equal to 2, I need to print a star only from uh, 2 to 5, and uh, remaining place that is at uh, the first place I need to print space here. When the value of i is equal to 3, I have to print the stars uh, from you can say that 3 to 5 here. In remaining all places I need to print the spaces here. Similarly, if it is 4, I need to print it from 4 to 5. In all other places I have to print space. The first last case 5 to 5 here. That is the place where I need to print star. Now, if we try to understand the logic here, if the value of i is equal to 1, the j value will go from 1 to 5 to print star. If the value of i is equal to 2, the value of j will go from 2 to 5. So, uh, what we can do over here is we can write something like this. If uh, the value of j is uh, greater than or equivalent to i, uh, we will print star here. That is what we can say. For example, in the first iteration, uh, the j value will become i is equal to 1 and j will become 1. Uh, 1 is greater than or equal to 1. Yes, star will be printed. j will become 2. 2 is greater than or equal to 1. Yes, star will be printed. 3 is greater than or equal to 1. Star is printed. 4 is greater than or equal to 1. Star is printed. 5 is greater than or equal to 1. Star is printed. In the next iteration, when uh, i becomes 2, again j will become 1 in the first case. But 1 is not greater than 2, so star will not be printed, we print space here. And then uh, when j becomes 2, 2 is greater than or equal to 2. Yes, it is equal to 2, star will be printed and all these particular stars will be printed here. So we can write a very simple condition uh, like if the value of j is greater than or equivalent to i, we will print star. In all other cases, we will print spaces here. So that can be written uh, something like this. If the j value is greater than or equal to i, I will print star. In all other cases, I will print space here. Once again, if the value of j is greater than or equivalent to i here, in such cases, I will print uh, the star. Otherwise, I will print a space here. And after every row, once the row is over, we need to add one. Uh, what is that called as the new line character in this case? So this is the complete uh, programming construct which will help you to draw this particular pattern. Now we will try to convert this logic into uh, the program uh, so that we can uh, display that particular pattern in this case. So the outer loop will start from 1 to 5. So I will take uh, for i in a range of uh, 1 comma 6 uh, because I have to go up to 5 here. So I have to take the second uh, uh, parameter to range 6 because uh, uh, the range will go one less than the second number so that's the reason i have to take uh, six here now the inner loop uh, uh, will go from again uh, one to six that is uh, for j in a range of you can say that one comma six here 
again the same thing here uh, but uh, what should happen uh, within this particular inner loop is we need to check one condition whether the value of uh, j is greater than equivalent to i if that is the case i need to print star otherwise i should not print it so i will take one ifs condition if j is greater than or equal to i if that is the case i will print uh, uh, you can say that uh, star here and then whenever i print star i should not go to immediately next line uh, print will add a new line so to avoid that particular thing i will take uh, end is equal to uh, space here i just add one space rather than going to the next line similarly uh, in the else part if this condition is not true that is j is not greater than or equal to i in that case i have supposed to print uh, uh, what is that called as one space here that's the first thing and after printing space again i should not go to the next line so i will take an attribute end which is equal to again space here so once you finish this particular inner loop uh, we have done with uh, one row after every row i supposed to add one new line so that's the reason i will take one more print here now it will go to the next row again uh, it will check whether j is greater than equal to i if that is the case star will be printed otherwise uh, a space will be printed here similarly it will go for all the uh, rows in this case now if i execute this particular program uh, as expected we are getting a inverted uh, uh, pyramid here uh, according to our logic we are getting the perfect uh, uh, pattern in this case but sometimes what happens is uh, we want to read the number of uh, rows and columns uh, from user so in such case what we can do is uh, we can take one variable like n uh, we will read uh, from you can say that user using the input statement input uh, enter the number of rows and columns so that is what we will ask user to enter that will be stored into n here now the program will remain same the only thing will change here is if you want to go up to fifth row we have taken six here that is one more than uh, five here similarly i want to go up to n here so if i want to go up to n i will take n plus one here similarly i will take here also n plus one here so if i take uh, n plus one uh, it will go up to a fifth column you can say okay and uh, fifth row and fifth column if n value is equal to 5 if n value is equal to 10 uh, it will go up to 10th row and 10th column so that is as simple as that now i will execute it uh, it will ask you to enter the number of rows and columns again, again the number of rows and columns are same here so i will enter 5 and then i will check it out whether we am getting the same output or not you can see here the same output i am getting here uh, when the value of n is equal to 5 uh, so i will check it out with some other number let us say that uh, if i enter 10 I have uh, 10 columns here and uh, 10 rows in this case of course it is working perfectly fine for all number of uh, rows and columns here so this is how uh, we can uh, draw this particular pattern in uh, python uh, the logic is explained and uh, i hope this particular concept is quite clear uh, so that you can uh, uh, write uh, the program uh, easily if you like the video do like and uh, share this video with all your friends Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.